Hello everyone, just got out of the shower, and I have myself a Pepsi. Mmm, that's a good Pepsi. Anyway, let's get back into this game, because this game is fun. Hello. Guys, I'm here to tell you this. I've been scheduling videos for a while now. We got two, two, three, four, five, six people left to snag. That person, that person, that person, that person. But right now, we're going to add her, we're going to add him, we're going to get rid of her, we're going to add him, we're going to get rid of him, we're going to add her, hit OK. Alright, let's go. a certain guy to help Daya with her bounty. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. I can't let her get away with what she did. Then Wench tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Rise did eject me as um, Thor, my Kalash Miner. Why would she do that? Um... Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, sure. You were as innocent as a Jawa in a droid chop shop. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. I want the bounty removed. Hey, you weren't there. 
She totally overreacted. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. If you hire someone to kill Dia, it will look like you weren't weren't man enough to do it yourself. Failure. If I let her get away with it, it'll look like mm. Take the bounty of Dia's head or you're a dead man. I'll go talk to Diana and see what she can come up with. See if she can come up with the credits. You can do that if you want, but I doubt she's got 200 credits. That's a lot, and she's just a working girl. But that's the brakes, right? Uh, if you hire someone to kill Diana, it will look like... Well, I guess you may be right. Besides, I've noticed some of the girls around here are giving me the cold shoulder since all this started. Okay, you win. Dia can live. Don't worry, I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. Thank you. Mucha shaka paka. Ye ki kon no ba mula Are they playing their trumpets? Hold on. We gotta listen.
is it. Got one more person to talk to before we leave this planet. on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. Don't worry, man. I'll win the race. That was right, guys. One of our own riders should get that swoop bike. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator is unstable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. Tell me I'm not sure about this. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts. And you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track. Oh, boy. we got to do swoop biking. Some racers go go blah blah blah. <laughs> Oh, 
Try again. Something to say about that, Brezhik? <coughs> what? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Focus to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! No. I am not. Game, buddy. 
I'm getting her, and you ain't stopping me. and his Volkers would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Karth and Nassi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. <laughs> up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? Oh, don't worry, we'll figure something out. I'm getting a little sick of your attitude, Basta. We were trying to find you. I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Basila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Both of you settle down. This isn't helping. He's right. You aren't showing much leadership ability right now, Vasla. Karth, you can't talk to your commanding officer like that. 
He's right. You know, I had my doubts about this mission, but I figured the Jedi Council wouldn't put you in charge if you weren't prepared. But here you are, acting like a spoiled child. I see. It's true that I don't have much military experience. Perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Alright, I won't let that happen. Okay, so what now? Let's go find a way out this planet. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. Something weird happened when we first met, like a vision. A vision? A vision of what? Of you fighting a dark Jedi raven, I guess. This is... it's strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. Are you saying I can use the force? What do you mean, force sensitivity? I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the Force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. So does that mean I could be a Jedi? This isn't the first time I had a vision. It sounds like you don't really know what you're talking about. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. How can I help? Can I suggest... Take her clothes off. Um, double blade of lightsaber, yes. That's her weapon. Protect belt, yes. Project armband, yes. Project gloves, yes. Nothing. 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 Okay, we got a Jedi. We got a samurai girl. We have a Wookiee with a boat and we have him with his dual okay. I'm going to upgrade her lightsaber if I can. And I think that's where we're going to win. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification if you want to be notified of every video we put out. Remember, guys, I put out new videos every single day. I love you all very, very much. As always, guys, stay awesome. Hang on, we gotta say it before I end it. There. Stay awesome.